Hong Kong pro-democracy protests mark their 100th day on this Tuesday. The uh, widely detested extradition bill that sparked the chaos in the first place has now been formally withdrawn. But the longest protest in Hong Kong's history still has plenty of wind in its sails. For more on this and other news around the world, let's turn to our Kim Dami. Now, Tommy, tell us more about this uh, protest that marks its 100th day today. Right, Kanyang, what began as a peaceful march against the extradition bill has evolved into a rallying cry for greater democracy in Hong Kong. Demonstrations are now focused on five demands, including greater democratic freedoms and an independent inquiry into allegations of police brutality. Even after the former withdrawal of the extradition bill, tensions between demonstrators, Hong Kong police and Beijing remain high following weeks of violence, union strikes and airport shutdowns. Despite protesters' efforts to seek global attention and international support, Beijing argues Hong Kong is a part of China's internal affairs. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying on Monday criticized Hong Kong student activist Joshua Wang for calling on the U.S. to back the protesters, saying that Chinese people begging for foreign intervention was ugly she noted that those born in Hong Kong and with Chinese nationality are Chinese citizens, regardless of whether or not they hold British passports. Last week, Wang urged the Trump administration to include a human rights clause in any trade agreement with China and to pass the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act.